Church family, hello. I want to share a word of God with you. Have you ever noticed that sometimes trouble comes in batches? Life can go on smoothly for a while, and then all of a sudden, bang, things go wrong. Not just one thing, but several things at once. And you wonder what hit you. 1 Peter 1.6 says, So be truly glad. There is a wonderful joy ahead, even though you have to endure many trials for a little while. I want you to notice the phrase, you have to endure many trials. What kind of hardship was Peter talking about? Peter is writing to believers who were going through very hard times. And those hard times were caused in large part because they were Christians. Followers of Jesus already were beginning to be singled for persecution. Persecution was not universal, and it was not the, uh, uh, that every Christian got thrown to the lions, but some were, and at increasing frequency. But it really doesn't matter what kinds of trials make life tough, no matter where our tough times come from. Peter's message offers insight to all who are facing hardship. When Peter begins his letter, his, he does not express how sorry he is that life can be so hard for them. Instead, he gives praise the, uh, to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then he adds, So be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead, even though you have to endure many trials for a little while. Notice how Peter talks about being truly glad and about wonderful joy in the midst of serious hardship. Even though it is necessary for you to endure many trials for a while, you see, God will always be with you. And He is bigger than your tough times, than our tough times. Remember, God always honors faith. My brothers and sisters, this coming month will bring good times and it will bring challenges. Here is what I want you to do. Choose joy, even now, even now. Amen. Let me pray with you. Father in heaven, we thank you for your word. May it encourage our hearts, even today as it strengthens us for the challenges we face every day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, and the church says, Amen. Praise the Lord of Jesus. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful time ahead. We are together, united by the blood of Jesus, and we shall overcome all this in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen.